Wow, is all I can say <laughs> to this 2010 Louis M. Martini Cabernet Sauvignon. <laughs> Wait a second. Lou, Louis? It's Louis. Louis. No, no. It's, you, <laughs> you don't say Louis Armstrong, the, 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 the trumpet player. You say Louis Armstrong. Look, they may not spell it L E W I S, but they still say Louis M. Martini. Hey, not the, you know, I don't care <laughs> how you say it because it's just outstanding wine. That's what we got here well, at $14. That's the truth. And there's a reason. I mean, you only need to visit that place one time to know why it's outstanding wine. They have, I went out there I interviewed Mike Martini a while back and um, great personality by the way and and then their their facilities are just top-notch you can walk down an I a row after row of tanks big stainless steel tanks or or you can walk down their um, you know their their massive barrel room there's so many barrels actually literally up in the millions of dollars worth of barrels sitting in these massive structures warehouses and you just know right away hey these guys are producing producing wine in a um, big way that you can find and yet they're maintaining the quality. They are not cutting corners and that's what comes through every time. Absolutely. Not cutting corners. Absolutely. When you smell the aromas in this wine, yeah. it's fine wine alert. Let me tell you, you smell that beautiful oak in there, fresh ripe fruit in there. It's coming through. Nothing funky, oh, bad yeah. or anything at all in this wine. You're, it's fine wine alert right off the bat. Yeah, yeah, it is. And uh, you taste this wine and your brain just goes ding, 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 ding. Fine wine, we just went right up past, you know, this is 14 bucks, no way, man. We're up in fine wine territory, why? Because you've got the interplay of fruit. You've got blackberry, you've got boysenberry, you've got a red berry element that is balancing out the dark fruit. Then you've got the chocolate in there and the plum. And it's so hard to get that fresh chocolatey plum coming through in a wine uh, that's under 15 bucks. It's just very rare. It's extremely rare, actually. And you got oak, you got vanilla, and I think probably what is going to, uh, you know, very often carry this for people and just, you know, send them into orbit is the smooth finish. They, they found a way to get this sort of cherry smooth finish, and man, is it pleasant. Oh, man, I love that <laughs> smooth finish, and it makes you want to go back yeah. again and again I'm going and back. again. And there's a little note of coffee in there that really separates <sighs> this wine man. out. It's just so nice, and let me tell you, it's the coffee. Not yeah. only... $14. The real value of this crowd pleaser is $22. Yeah, it's a big two thumbs up to the 2010 Louis M. Martini. Cabernet Sauvignon <laughs> from Sonoma County. Looking good, Louis. <laughs> Feeling good, Betty Ray. Ah, you got it. You got it. <laughs>